This beach is made up of trillions of tiny sand particles. Just like the sand that makes up this beach, atoms make up materials. They make up the Earth's atmosphere, they make up people, they even make up this sand. Atoms are the fundamental building blocks of our world. But what are they made from? Luckily for you, Science Nation is here with, with an, an explanation. explanation. George, let's go. The atom has three main components. The first, the proton. Now, the proton is quite attractive, not because it's handsome, but because it's positively charged. It lives in the nucleus and also has a neighbour called the neutron. Now, the neutron is almost identical, except it has a slightly greater mass and it has no overall charge. But there is an outsider, the electron outside because it orbits round the nucleus and has a very small mass compared to that of the proton and neutron. It also has a negative charge which makes the overall charge of the atom neutral. Now there's so much empty space between the nucleus and the electron that if you scaled it up to the size of a 2p coin then the nearest electron would be a mile away. But can we go any smaller? Sure. Protons and neutrons are made up of quarks, and quarks are a fundamental constituent of matter. The types of quarks that make up protons and neutrons are the up quark and the down quark. Quarks never exist on their own, instead they are always combined into pairs and triplets, the most stable of which is the proton. A proton is made up of two up quarks and one down quark, however a neutron is just made of one up quark and two down quarks. Despite having two thirds of their quarks in common, they have completely different properties. But can electrons be split into any smaller parts? In the standard model of particle physics, electrons cannot be split into any smaller parts. Instead, they are a member of a group of particles known as leptons. Together, quarks and leptons make up all matter in the known universe. 